I'm obviously going to be celebrating my birthday multiple times. Woo! I can't wait. Hi loves, how are we all today? Welcome back! I want to say a quick apology for this very casual get up today. I don't really have an excuse. I'm just, you know what, I'm running a wee bit behind schedule and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to start the video with what I'm wearing, which is, it's an Ariana Grande sweatshirt. I do quite like it, but it's a bit more casual than what I would normally pop on for a video. So, you'll know by the title, but today's video, woohoo, we are in my birthday month, happy September, woohoo. So, today's video is basically help me decide what to wear for my 30th birthday, although a little... Is it caveat? Is it, no, that's not what I want to say. Disclaimer, um, this is probably not going to be the only video about this because, you know, me being the diva that I am, <laughs> I'm not actually a diva, I just kind of wanted to say that, I'm obviously going to be celebrating my birthday multiple times. So this first, this is the first round of celebrations. It's actually very early because my birthday isn't until the 22nd of September, but Basically, I've got a very busy month. I've actually got two weddings. I am hoping to be going on holiday. So I decided I wasn't actually going to do a girls thing, but do you know what? I'm someone that I love a girls night out. All my birthdays have always been very girly events. So I just thought, do you know what? This is probably one of the last times that I'm going to do like something like this, apart from my hen do. But yeah, this is basically next weekend or yeah, it'll be the, the weekend that's coming up. Sorry, I feel like I'm wittering on. So basically, it's this Saturday coming up. I'm doing a little bit of a girls thing. I might do a wee vlog for parts of it, like maybe like getting ready or getting it set up and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> don't know what happened there? <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm rushing because this is a long intro. Basically, I've got some ideas for outfits today and I'm just going to go through them. But what I was trying to say is there might be further videos about my birthday because I am hoping to do some more celebrations, hopefully, if we are abroad. But anyway. Let's just get on with it. So you are going to be like, right, she is a diva because I'm actually thinking of having an outfit change for the event. Basically, the first part of it is we're doing a little boat cruise, which I thought was something like really different, but like glam, quite chic. So it's only like a wee hours cruise, but you do get a glass of champagne. So I had thought I want to go down the kind of nautical vibe. I'm thinking in my head like Saint-Tropez, Capri. I don't know if you say it Capri or Capri. But yeah, that kind of vibe. So that was my first idea for the the event. So I'm going to show you the, the first dress. This is the first one that I actually think is winning so far for that part. Okay, so this is the dress here. So it is a River Island. It's I would say it's a kind of midi dress. It's got these vertical stripes. The only thing I will say, so hopefully on camera, because in real life, it's one of these ones. Like see, see at a distance, I'm hoping that looks navy and white. But in actual fact, and I'm going to hold it. You can, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually a kind of greeny colour, which when I first saw it, I was a bit like, oh no. Also, the material isn't quite what I thought it was going to be. However, I've tried it on and I actually think it is so glam. Like, it's really sophisticated, it's really elegant. I had this idea of getting like a really like fancy hat as well. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find one. But yeah, it's, it's got the vibes that I'm going for and I'm considering doing a red lip with it. You might be thinking, whoa that is a move <laughs> and it is but that's the kind of vibe i'm going for so this is the first dress i'm going to put it on and yeah you can let me know what we think as a contender right angels here we are this is the first look on so i'm hoping this comes across well on camera because it's one of these dresses that honestly has just like a little bit of i don't know what i want to call it like i just it's got a chic vibe to it and but i also can kind of see that and some angles it might not look that flattering like this does look a little bit matronly at the front here I don't know it's maybe this bra that I've got on as well but yeah this is the vibe of it I really feel like it's going with the vibes of what we're doing I'm envisioning my hat so I've also just brought the shoes as well that I'm thinking of wearing with this look so these these are River Island as well but they were quite a wee while ago that I bought them so I don't think they would still be available I will try and like something similar if I can but so these yeah this is the wee pair of shoes they are a wee bit dirty so <laughs> probably need to clean I've not worn them in ages but yeah I feel like you get the look that I'm going for very sophisticated quite elegant the dress is a nice length because it's just like kind of below the knee and I think overall the dress is quite a flattering fit like kind of around the the booty area <laughs> as well 
So this is the first look and to be honest this is the one that I feel like I am going to go for for the boat part. I think it fits better and with the weather not really being as you know <laughs> warm and sunny as Saint-Tropez I think this is not a bad option but I'm going to show you the second dress which I've decided to keep anyway but I don't think I don't think it's going to be right for this event. So this is the second dress just here and this is from, it's in the style and it's the Lorna Lux collection. So I actually haven't really bought much from them, you know, over the years, but my sister's quite into them, like in the style in general. So when I saw this dress, I just thought, oh, that is a bit of me. Like, look, look at the ruffles, look at the layers. It actually reminds me a wee bit of like a Love Shack fancy dress, which I don't have any of their dresses, but just, just this like, level of layering so that's one thing I would say about this dress it's really lovely quality like it just it feels quite thick there's a lot going on it is lined as well which is always nice so it's got this kind of um ruching like bodice the only thing is I would say this is a wee bit tight on me I was considering changing to the size 10 but I think I've run out of time now so I think I'll probably just keep this one um, and then it's like the wee shoulder ties I would say I love this, but it's it's just, it's a wee bit much for the boat, I would say. And also, I think it does feel more of like a holiday dress. So I think, like in Glasgow, we just can't really get away with wearing this stuff unless it is an absolute heat wave, which we are kind of experiencing at the minute. But I don't know if it's going to last until next weekend. So this is the second dress. So just to say quickly about this dress as well, I think it's the size 8. It is from the petite range, but I would say it fits me kind of as normal. And because it's like a midi length, I wasn't worried about it being too short or anything like that. I will double check, but I think I got the size 8. I'm going to pop on this next dress and then we'll see what that one looks like. Oh my god, I absolutely love this dress. I haven't had it on like in a couple of weeks now since I ordered it. Ah, it is. Oh my god, it's just, it's a bit of me. I don't know, I've already said that, but it is so cute. Absolutely love these little ties. I'm sorry, I've not actually done them that well. I know you probably can't, you won't be able to see it until I've got the wee thing here or here, <laughs> but the, the style of it is just amazing. Look how like fitted that is. And then you've got this dramatic layers of frills. Oh my God, I love this. See if the weather was to be a wee bit warmer, I would, I would actually probably go for this one. Yeah, it's just, it actually does give me Love Shack fancy vibes. But yeah, let me know what you think of this one. It does feel a little bit more kind of Cinderella-esque, whereas the first one is more like classy and elegant. This is more, I don't know, feel more like, I don't really know, like princessy or, I don't know, a bit more dramatic. Like, so we are hoping to go on holiday. Our plan was to go back to Venice. I don't think that's going to be happening, but I had envisioned myself in Venice in this dress. I just think that would be absolutely stunning. Like imagine like going on a gondola or having a glass of wine somewhere. Ah, oh, I'm so glad I kept this dress. And actually I think the size is okay. I think this is a little tight, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's kind of like here I'm feeling it. Um, but yeah, so this is in the style. And I think, do you know what? Not too bad a price considering the, the quality and just the fit. I think it was 55 pounds, which I don't think was too bad at all for this one. So, that is kind of my looks, the two looks I like picked out for the bolt part. As I mentioned, I am then having an outfit change because basically we're doing, we're doing the wee boat trip and then we're doing a sort of like garden picnic kind of vibe at my dad's house. So the colour scheme for the picnic is pale pink and rose gold, you know, naturally. <laughs> so I want to wear pink because realistically this, this is not going to go with the decor. I feel like you can see my dilemma. So basically what I have kind of done is pulled together one one new dress and then two other dresses that I've actually not really had a chance to wear. I bought them kind of in the pandemic. Well, obviously we're still kind of in it, but like earlier on. So I'm just going to show you them and yeah, again, show you my, my favourite options, I would say. Okay, so this is the first pink dress and I will say this one probably is, it's probably not going to be the one I'm going to choose because it's not really picnicky. Like, in fact, it's not picnicky at all. <laughs> But then it's not really, it's more of a garden party is what I would say that we're kind of going for. But it's, it's a bit glam, isn't it? It's a bit more date night. I'm actually thinking I might wear this out tonight. So this wee dress is from Zara. It's just quite a simple, it's kind of a satiny material. It's like an evening slip dress, which is very chic. It's quite sort of sexy. <laughs> um, I've seen this on a couple of girls. So one of them was Grace Foley. She wore it and I just thought, oh my God, it looks amazing. I was a bit worried because this is typically not a style of dress that suits me. It's one of these dresses that it doesn't cling too much, but you know, 
some of those clingy types of dresses don't really suit me unless they, they sit on the right part but it's quite nice material it's quite thick which is nice and yeah overall I was quite happy with it so I went for a size medium in this it's kind of like got an open back but just like a wee strap this is the one thing that I don't know if it looks that good because it is like a bit of a, a bra strap but then I suppose you can't really see it if you have it on the tightest but yeah if you have it like not on the tightest it is gonna look like that I don't know um I'm gonna show it to you on but yeah to be honest I don't think this is the one I'm gonna go for but I decided to keep it because I loved this dress anyway oh I just feel so elegant in this dress I'm actually so happy to have found a dress that is this slip style that is not horrendously unflattering <laughs> like I have tried these sorts of dresses before and just not I think I don't know they've just they've just got to hit you in the right place don't they there was this dress that I can't remember the brand but they called it like their liquid gold dress and it was like gold and shimmery it was stunning but it really it was just not flattering on me so I'm quite happy to have this one because although it's not like perfect I just feel like it is more flattering than some of the other ones I've tried um, I have had breakfast with my dad this morning so I do feel a wee bit self-conscious of my tum in this dress I'm kind of breathing in a wee bit to sort of because <laughs> it is going to cling this is the only thing with these styles of dresses it's just going to cling isn't it but I think you can see that this is it's quite elegant it is quite glam and it is a bit of me why am I saying that so much in this video <laughs> but yeah I'm going to keep it anyway but it's not it's not for the picnic it's just not the right vibe so I'm going to just move on from this one this next dress to be honest, is the one that I had resigned myself to wearing. But I've then had another thought. So I've, I'm going to show you the third option for this part. This, at the minute, I would say probably is winning. But yeah, you can let me know what you think. So, sorry, it's coming off the hanger a wee bit. So it's this dress here. You might remember this from a previous video. So this was in... Ooh, I can't remember what video it was actually. But it's from um, ASOS. I will link it if it's still available. I'm not sure if it is because it was quite a wee while ago. But it's a really cute, this this is definitely the vibe. It's garden party, picnic, pink florals. Yeah, and this dress, this dress is so flattering on. It just gives you like a lovely shape. So yeah, let me just check what make this is. It's Rare London and this is the size eight. So I'm gonna try this one on and then I'll, I'll show you the, the final dress. Here we are with this one on. I would say, yeah, I do actually really, really like this one. The only thing is, it's feeling a little bit tighter, which is just not a great feeling. Oh, I hate when you haven't tried nothing on and you're like, oh gosh, I feel like this is tighter. <laughs> um, I do really like this. Again, this is quite princessy, isn't it? With the neckline, this wee bit of like, there is boning and it's a little bit of a kind of, you know, like corset style. I do really, really like this one. I think this is definitely a contender. And in fact, this morning, I just thought this was the one I was going to wear. But it is stressing me because it's quite tight around the hips. Oh, lordy. Okay, so I'm going to just show you the final dress just so we can kind of wrap this up. Okay, so this is the final look, the final dress. And yeah, this is again one I have worn. You might remember it from a couple of Instagram posts I did when I was in Venice last year. So this is one that I have worn. I have worn it a few times. So that's the only reason I wouldn't be less keen on this one because I literally have not worn this one at all this one has been worn quite a few times because I just love it so much but it's maybe slightly more birthday than this one if that makes sense so this again this one was from ASOS it's from a band called Forever New yeah um I actually did manage to find it on Fenwick's website if it's still available I will link it because I have had quite a few questions on this dress it is it is really like just a glam girly dress so I'll, I'll try it on yeah and I'll just show you we can see what we think okay last dress on so to be honest I'm actually thinking I prefer the previous one just because I don't know I, th I think it sits, fits the vibe more this is maybe just a wee bit more glam yeah like oh I don't really know I actually feel a bit dizzy now <laughs> I think I've talked myself in and out of all the dresses I will absolutely love this dress this dress is if I think of my dresses I think this is in the top five, definitely the top 10. But I'm just not sure it's the one for this event. So let me, do let me know what you think between that second one there and then this one. And with the blue ones, cause see, to be honest, I'm really loving that in the style one. And I had kind of dismissed it as being the boat dress. Hmm. Um, but yeah, okay. So there is lots to think about. 
Ha! <laughs> I feel a bit lost for words now. Do you know what though? I just want to say I really love filming this video. I feel it just... I absolutely love dresses. I've always been a fan of just glam dresses, night out dresses. So I think that's why I just liked all these different styles and dresses today. So that is me wrapping up the video. I know I always say that I'm wrapping it up like it's a present. <laughs> I've not had a coffee today, so I don't know why I'm starting to act weird. There was a way I was going to say about autumn fashion, fall fashion. I cannot wait. What I will say is I'm kind of having a little bit of an end of summer I was going to say blast, I don't know if that's the right word. End of summer, hurrah, with the next maybe couple of videos and then I will be straight in here with some autumn content because, yeah, I love the fall colours. Browns, caramels, taupes, cream. Woo, I can't wait. Over the knee boots. Woo, it's coming back. <laughs> so stick around for that. I promise I'm coming with that. I don't know whether I'm going to be a wee bit later than other... YouTube channels, I, I'm not really sure, um, just because it is my birthday and we are experiencing a mini heat wave here at the minute, so hopefully we get a wee bit more of the summer before we do, because our winters are horrendous here, I will just say that. <laughs> so, I'm going to finish this video today, thank you, as always, so much for watching, it honestly just makes my day to film these videos and, yeah, chat to fashion with you all, so, do let me know what should I go for. It's going to be something from this video, I think, because I don't have any other options. Yeah. But, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I will report back with how my 30th birthday plans are all going. I will speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!